who it is. You're Bethel's human, aren't you? Yes, very nice to meet you. My name is Viva. I'm a longtime friend of Bethel. This is your first time participating in the human huntings? Very good choice. Well, my job here is to prepare you for it. I've done this a long time. You're in good hands, don't worry. Well, let's get started then. So first, I'm going to be telling you some tips and rules. Tip number one, try not to talk to any of the hostile entities on those levels. You can befriend them if it's possible, but they don't have any laws there like we do. Remember that they can eat you while you're alive. Are we allowed to kill any of the entities for self-defense? Yes, but try not to. We try to keep our peace. Why is it okay for us to kill entities but not humans? Well, that's a silly question. Humans are like our pets, they're like dogs to us. Even in the human world, when another human kills someone else, they get punished for it or some even walk free. But when a dog kills a human, they get executed on the spot. You see, we can't give the same kind of leniency towards humans because they're like our dog. Cute and precious, but once they bite, it's a problem. We can't have humans biting the hand of their owners. Now, number two, I'm going to be giving you these human tracking devices. This is going to help you decide on your spawn point. Now, a little reminder, these won't work as efficiently in certain levels because of the environment. For example, water-based levels like pool rooms or straight-up oceans, forest levels where there are lots and lots of trees, and levels where the weather is terrible. It's storming all the time, it's not really going to work, but don't worry. Since you did so good at the academy, and they taught you so many things, you're going to be able to track down humans just fine without this. It's just going to help the process a lot and make it a lot shorter. Now, once you find your human, you must ask them the same questions that Bethel asked you when she first found you. Do you remember them? Number one, what's your name? If your human remembers their name, that's a very good sign because it means that they haven't been in that level for too long, which means not too many mutations. Number two, their gender. Humans have a role in our level. They have a responsibility, they have a job, so this question is very important. Number three, how long they have been on that level? Again, this is to see if they're too far gone, too far mutated to fix. Now, number four, the most important question and the only requirement. Have they killed any entities while they were on that level? This is very important and I told you why before. Now. If your human passes all of these questions, you take them to level 111. Remember? Yes, the hospital you went to when Bethel fixed you up. You have to take them there, get rid of all their mutations, fix them up, and then bring them to level 333. Okay, now, once they come to level 333, this is a very important part as well. You have to ask them a question. Do you want to stay a human or do you want to become an entity? They only get this option the first time that they arrive, alright? Now, if they decide to become an entity, you must fix up their look so that it matches us. Make them feel more accepted and make them feel a sense of belonging in this society of entities. And then take them to the ceremony, bring them to the academy, show them to the higher-ups, see what they have to say. And remember, during the first five months of their training, they cannot be in any sort of contact with the human. Have you seen the human facility before? No, not yet. Well, you came here young. Well, that's another thing that you must see once you're done with this. Now, if your human decides to stay a human, there's no fixing up or anything. Just take them to the welcoming ceremony and then you have to take them straight to the human facilities, okay? Now, here's a new rule that we have. You must make sure that your human does not die during the time that they're there. You see, the human facilities, I guess it's not very suitable for humans. There are a lot of humans who've died recently because of the harsh environment and because it's too, I guess, difficult for their bodies. So make sure that they don't die on your watch, okay? Just how Bethel took care of you, you must take care of your human. Okay, very good. Now that I'm done with my lecture, it is time for me to make you look more human because, frankly, after all that training, you look very scary. You look like me, which is 
a good thing for us, but not very good when you're trying to help other humans. So, first things first, I'm going to give you a wig because you have lost all your hair. You have lost your hair, you have lost your eyelashes, your eyebrows, and this is a very natural process. I hope you do not feel bad. You see, this is a wig. Bethel has a wig. All of us who look like we have hair have wigs on. So, I'm going to bring you the wig. This is the wig that I recommend you. What do you think? You like it? That's very good. So, I'm just going to put this on your head and make sure that it fits just right. Okay, now, just going to touch it a bit. There we go. How does it feel? Feels alright? Very good. And I think we're done with that. Very good. Now, next part. I'm going to be putting some fake eyelashes on you because you lost all of them and I think it's just going to make you look more welcoming, more sweeter in a way. So, I'm going to be putting some natural lashes on you. Here we go. Okay. Now, have you ever put on false lashes when you were a human? No? Okay. Well, this is going to be your first time. Trust me, I'm experienced at this because it is my job to prepare entities for this competition. So just stay still. I'm just going to put this on your eye. Okay, how does that feel? Sorry. How does that feel? It feels okay? Alright, I'm going to take the next one then. Alright, here we go. Again, stay very still for me. It's okay? Alright, very good. You are already looking a lot more human. Now that I did that, I'm going to be drawing in your eyebrows because again, you have no eyebrows right now and I feel like this is really going to finish everything hair-wise. Okay, I'm gonna first draw in those eyebrows to match your features. Now this side. Okay, and now I'm going to just brush everything out so that it looks a lot more natural. Okay. Very good. Okay. And now, actually, I'm going to be using some mascara to make those eyelashes pop out even more. Humans love pretty things. Us entities, I don't know. We don't really mind. But, yeah. For the humans, I guess. Also, I just noticed that you have the same kind of eye as me. I have mismatched ones because I get more options since this is the job that I do. But, you know. Once you level up, like me, maybe you could change them up. Just follow my instructions. Blink, 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 blink. All right. Now this side. Blink, 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 blink. Very good. Now. I'm going to be using some blush to make you look more alive. You look very dead right now. That's a normal thing, us entities. We look very dead unless we try to look more alive. So, I'm going to be using some blush to make your cheeks so rosy and nice. So just stay still again. Now I'm just going to blend everything out with a brush. Very 
very good okay and now I'm going to be putting some lipstick on you so that it matches your blush now here's the thing I feel like Bethel didn't have anything on her lips when she found you didn't you find that quite weird well she hates having anything on her lips I'm going to be putting some lipstick on you so that you can avoid that with your human Nice shade. Just pucker up your lips for me. Alright. Alright, now we're done. You look absolutely amazing. Very human. Very welcoming and sweet. Now, I have just the top for you to wear that's going to match this entire look. Okay, let me bring it out for you. Here's the top that I had in mind. Because of the color of your wig and the color of your makeup, I feel like this top would look so nice on you. It is also very sweet and warm. Feels very welcoming to me. What do you think? Do you like it? Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. All right, wow. You look absolutely human. I did such a good job. Okay, now that I think that you're fully done with everything, I'm going to take you to that base over there, okay? I'm going to show you exactly how you can use this human tracking device, and you're going to spawn. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. 